that I would be at home and I'd wake up and there would be a fireman and ambulance around me and I'm looking around going, what the heck is going on? Holly is uh, 41, but her seizures began at 38 and she became almost immediately just resistant to medication. So she's older than most people when contracting her epilepsy <clears throat> and there was no past medical history or family history that would give us a risk factor that she should have epilepsy. During medical assistant school is when I started just having these weird feelings. It's like a tingling feeling that I would get in my mouth and then it feels like down my arms, I would start sweating. Many patients anticipate and know when they're going to have a seizure because they have this phenomenon called the aura and that is the warning. It may be tingling, like Holly has, but when the patient feels that, they know. After their loss of contact, they may do socially unacceptable things, like take off their clothes or wander out the door and into the streets. I worked for OBGYN, and I had a seizure at work, bouncing back wall to wall. Holly's uh, work is in jeopardy. If she has a seizure in the midst of taking care of a patient, then she loses contact, she's not able to care for the person, and it's, it's horrible. I feel stupid. It affects my relationship with my daughter because she is um, scared. She's scared to be home with mommy. She's afraid that something is gonna happen. If they fail, throwing more medications at them is not going to be successful. So we decided that the best way to localize Holly's uh, epilepsy was to place electrodes into the areas that are suspicious. We discovered that her epilepsy was coming from an area called the hippocampus. And because we have good localization, she has about a 60% chance of being seizure free, but a 90% chance of uh, helping her seizures and decreasing their frequency. If Holly falls into the 60% chance of, of cure, then uh, it will change her life. She will just never experience another seizure. Everybody at Yale has been wonderful to me. And Dr. Spencer, he's just, I can't tell you enough about him. I was scared and Dr. Spencer was there and he held my hand the whole time. What All right. doctors do that? I, I want to feel normal again. I want to go through my day and I want to go back to work and I want to feel smart again. So I decided to do this so that I can get my life back.